Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yasin, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video it's called Everyday Carry, and basically it's going to go over everything that I carry on a day to day basis. So hopefully, you enjoy. I'm going to start things off with my bag and don't worry I'm going to put all the stuff that I talk about in the link in uh, links for the products in the description down below if you want to get it if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below but to start things off this is the bag that I use to carry all my products this is a shoulder bag some people call it a messenger bag but I really like this bag it's um, you know made out of leather it's very nice it's uh, fashionable and it's a easy grab with one hand keeps my other hand free to do whatever else I need to do my wife actually got it for me and I really like it I used to have it in uh, brown leather the brown one is right over here and it lasts pretty good so the reason I'm showing you guys is to let you know exactly the wear and tear as you can see there's few scuffs going on right around here there's some scuffs right around here a um, couple of scuffs on the edge here and up here but other than that this bag held up very well um, had it for a, a whole year before I got the black one and that should just let you guys know exactly how to hold up. I still keep it around because sometimes I rock it for about a week or so when I want that vintage look, uh, you know, the old beat up bag look and I really like it. So these are from the store Aldo. They also sell shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link for the bag in the description below, but that is the bag. So let's start with the stuff that's in the bag. Um, we have a front pocket up here. I don't really keep much in this front pocket as you can see it's empty I don't really put anything in there because this bag has so many pockets that I don't really utilize all of them now There is a huge back pocket over here And it has a zipper that zips up and down and in this pocket This is where I put all my accessories. So I have flash drive keep all my stuff on there. I also have a little card here for uh, where I have my business cards in there. And then I have this, this is, um, as you guys know, I have the new MacBook Pro, so you need an adapter for everything. This is a USB-C adapter uh, for SD card when you record videos. But this one's pretty cool because it also has um, USB 3.0 um, on the other side so you can actually plug in a flash drive and plug in a uh, SD card all into the same port this is pretty cool I got it online link it down below um, what else do we got in here that's pretty much in here and then I also carry another adapter this one is just a USB um, to a micro a USB C and I use this one I don't really need to use the SD card slot one but I keep both those in there and I also keep my uh, Jaybird um, X3 headsets in there because those are the ones that I use every single day. They're not in there right now, but I think they're on my nightstand somewhere. Hold on, I'm gonna go get them. Oh, so, yeah, like I said, these are the Jaybird X3s, and I use these all the time. These are my daily um, headphones that I use whether I'm going out to the gym to work out or just listening to some music. So that stays in my back pocket and that is uh, easy access to reach over there. And now to open up the flap, there's uh, a pocket up front right here and then there's the main compartment. So in the pocket up front, I keep extra cables that I need to charge stuff. This is a pretty cool cable because it has a micro uh, USB and then you also have a USB-C adapter going on top of it. And I'm gonna link that in the description. And then I also carry my portable hard drive. This guy is from almost two years ago. It's from Toshiba, it's 750 gigabyte storage. And it, you know, it doesn't have USB-C, it's not a SSD, but this guy I've been using for the last two years, Toshiba right there and it comes in handy it's almost full I almost have like 500 gigs of it filled 
and I'm waiting to upgrade to a as once it fills up to an SSD I'm looking at those uh, Samsung uh, T3 I believe they're called or the PNY so let me know if you guys have any experience with either of those and which one you would recommend between the two and now we're gonna move on to the main compartment now this bag is designed for a 13 inch laptop so it has this compartment in here which has all these pockets and then it's got a flap that you can open and then it has uh, padding and then you can put your laptop like I said it's designed for a 13 inch but I put my 15 inch MacBook and it fits in there perfectly snug without any issues so this right here is my 15 inch um, MacBook Pro uh, with the retina uh, display and the touch bar, the 2016 one, I went ahead and put a skin on it, which is still space gray, so it looks the same, but it gets some little bit of protection. Um, I actually put a video on me applying the skin, but I'm going to make a separate video on the skin and all the accessories that I have going on on my MacBook coming out sometime later this week. So if you want to see everything I use with my MacBook, go ahead and you know subscribe to the channel so you can see that but other than that in this main flap with the MacBook I also have just a folder I you know I'm a I work full-time so I got to carry some files and stuff and so that's that and then in the other pocket obviously we have the charger this is the actual brick that came from Apple with it uh, with the MacBook I don't like to take the accessories out of the boxes for resale value in case I want to resell them keep the cable separate where where did I put my cable back pocket there's also another zipper in here but this is a aftermarket cable it's um, RAV power and it's really long uh, about six foot I got it on Amazon I'm gonna link this in the description and it's got this silver top right here USB-C to USB-C and I keep the original charger for it in the box because I use this one and this one's really nice it's very sturdy it hasn't given me any issues and the fact that it's uh, silver close to space gray at the tip with the white cable keeps it with the aesthetics of the MacBook so that's basically what I keep in there and then the last item that I carry with me every day is this and this is a little like almost a first aid kit for backup battery um, I found this little bag online and the only thing I didn't like it is the little clip here that was stuck on it. it's like a zipped up thing broke and I don't like that I hate it so now I'm thinking of putting um, a key ring in there so it's easier to open because when I try to open it it's like extremely tough and you gotta pinch it with your nail but basically this is like a little travel to go you know power situation so I got the anchor quick charge 3.0 uh, 10,500 milliamp it's got quick charge 3.0 it charges everything real fast my phone sometimes I, I need to top off my phone so I just plug it in and it's got the little display here that shows you how much power is left in it so and it's happened to honestly fit perfect in this little container so that's awesome then I got a USB uh, cable here short one I also have the little adapter the little dongle that you charge the um, Jaybirds with it and this way I keep it in here I use it charge it when it's done put it back in here I don't lose it and then another one this is the little tiny cable that came with the Jaybird uh, X3s so I keep those two in there I keep this wire in here keep this zipped up and now I have like a first aid kit portable um, charging station to go and if I don't even need to carry my bag I'll just take this and put it in a jacket pocket so that's it right there and this is everything that I carry with me every single day that's a lot of stuff I didn't even realize I carry all this stuff every day but you know it's a necessity and also yeah I have my phone and right now I'm actually using the note 5 I keep coming back to the note um, I use the Sony Xperia's lineup ones I use the pixel for like three months but I always come back to the note 3 because I like big screens and with the S Pen right here this phone definitely you know uh, is a keeper so I'm actually excited I can't wait for the new Samsung s8 to come out 
So that's um, definitely something that I'm keeping my eye on and I hope they bring back the Note line later on this year because it was unfortunate what happened to it last year. But this is what I carry with me every single day.